Presidential advisor on health, Dr. Anthony Siasari, has described the enhanced surveillance mechanisms as best practices in checking the coronavirus. He was reacting to concerns on safety measures, including the quarantine of suspected cases some countries have adopted since its outbreak in China. Providing additional information on enhanced surveillance mechanisms, Dr. Anthony Siasari said the health ministry had directed regional health directors to designate special holding and treatment centers in their respective regions. We are using WHO guidelines. So anybody now coming, at first we were asking only those who are directly coming from the Far East. But we realize that now anybody at all moves, not directly from China, because we don't have flight directly to China. So people go to South Africa, come South Africa Airways, people go to Rwanda, uh, Kenya, uh, and everything. So they've decided that, and some people even come off um, KLM and the rest. So. When anybody is coming, they fill forms, they are questioned, you go through the system, check your temperature, and then if you give us a travel history that you were in China or you were near a place where we have, they've diagnosed some of the disease, then you, t you are taken through further questioning. He entreated the public to avoid touching their eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands in case of contact with a sick person or a potentially affected surface or object. There's no cause of alarm. Our, our uh, uh, surveillance system, I've worked in the system before at Ghana Health. We have a very robust, very systematic uh, department which works according to the WHO guidelines. Furthermore, he called on people to seek treatment immediately at the nearest health facility if symptoms showed or when advised by a health worker. A new strain of coronavirus is spreading around the world after originating at a seafood market in the central Chinese city of Wuhan. The virus has been confirmed in 16 countries. The virus started spreading from animals to human, and now human-to-human -human transmissions are taking place. In China, 106 people have died, with more than 4,515 cases recorded as of last Monday, forcing the country to step up its response to the crisis by restricting movement and closing tourist sites. Cases have been confirmed in Europe, North America, and several Asian countries. Cote d'Ivoire is dealing with a suspected case of the virus.